Hey, what is up guys? It's Awesome Bomb here. And, you know, today is a very special day. Um, and reason why is I probably already wrote it in the title of the video, but today is uh, the 10th anniversary of Avatar The Last Airbender. And this, <clears throat> this series holds a very special place in my heart. I mean, basically, it's like... It's basically like if I if someone would ask me what my childhood was like, I would show show them that like fucking cartoon. Like honestly, that that's basically the best thing that has come out of my fucking childhood. I am not joking around. That fucking show is truly amazing. If you have not watched that yet and you're into like adventure, humor, all sorts of awesome stuff like fantasy and I don't know man if, if you're like into that kind of stuff just and you haven't actually watched it you should like fucking watch it right now um, it is it is a truly amazing show and um, you know I, I've like rewatched it at least I don't even know man I, I've, I've rewatched, rewatched it so many times I've lost count like basically that's how it is um, and I'm, I'm planning to rewatch it again I mean what else could you do for the 10th anniversary of the series? I mean, it's basically the best thing you could do is just rewatch it, you know? <laughs> I mean, I. You know what's funny? I've, I've, I think I've never actually fully rewatched it with the English. Um, like, like, with the original voice actors, basically. Um, I mean, I've always watched it with the, the, the Dutch voice actors, which are also pretty good, by the way. I mean, I think actually, in, like. Um, Zuko's Dutch voice actor better than the English one, for example, or the American one, I should say. Um, and I mean, like Aang and Katara's voice actor, like the Dutch ones are also really good. I mean, they're basically they're all really good. Um, I can't say the same for the Legend of Korra. I mean, that's really a different story. But like for after the last Airbender, like they had really good voice actors. Like it's fucking amazing. Um, but of course, uh, the Legend of Korra's like original voice actors are fucking amazing too. So uh, there's no uh, like bad thing to say about those. But yeah, I mean, as I was saying, like Avatar: Last Stand, it's it's truly like it's one of the greatest things that exist on this planet. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking lie. Uh, I mean, it has inspired me to do just, like like to be who I am and. You know, it has inspired me to, like, just so many things. It's, it's like, it's freaking amazing. <laughs> I'm going to probably repeat that, like, at least ten times and more in this video. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's just true, you know. If there's one thing in my life that has, like, inspired me to do everything I do, it's been that show. And, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm glad that in my, like childhood I once started watching that series and I never stopped watching it. I'm just so glad I found it out someday I don't even know how or when it started but like back when I was still watching Nickelodeon on the on television and stuff um, that was really like the best like cartoon ever basically I mean it was <laughs> there was nothing that could compete with that not even closely you know so it's just weird how how like one show can be so good compared to others like on a channel and just like, that one show can mean so much to someone i mean uh, th like like there you're going to find like a ton of fucking people who have actually watched that show and like we're just as me like we're inspired to do something or or like realized things after watching it or like in their personal lives and stuff like that. I mean, I mean, the show means a lot to a lot of fucking people, and I'm talking about millions of people, not like thousands, but actually millions of people. So, yeah, I mean, it just shows how how I guess dedicated some people can be, and just how good it is, you know. Um, and of, co of course, there's always going to be like the people who, um, like. This is just a stupid thing. I, I don't really like reading about it or anything, but there's always those like people who say like the Legend of Korra sucks, this and that, because like the after last time Airbender was fucking brilliant and all that stuff. Like, 
it's, it's just stupid, you know, how they have to, like, keep repeating that all over and over, like, we don't know it yet, because it's just, like, I, I don't like, like, uh, comparing the two, like, a Legend Core and Avatar The Last Airbender. I mean, they're really, apart from being in the same universe, I don't feel like they should be compared. Like, they're, they're just really different shows, like, the way they're built up and just the way like the storytelling is it's completely different and people still want to like they just want to compare them like it's really the most i'm not going to say retarded but I, I just don't like it like what they do with that i just don't get it why would you have to compare them just like they're, they're both fucking brilliant i mean if you can't see that i don't know what the hell is wrong with you I mean, uh, I guess I guess maybe you don't like the way the story is told in Legend of Korra and you like it way, the way like it's told in Avatar The Last Airbender. Because basically, in uh, The Last Airbender, the story is told, like there's one big story basically. Um, it's just one big story. And in The Legend of Korra you actually have like, I guess you could say four different stories, but they kind of tie in at the end, I guess, in the last season, so I don't really feel like they're one story, or um, that they're four different stories. I feel like it's still one story, but it's just the way you look at it, because I feel like The Legend of Korra, the story is basically um, a avatar who uh, thought she had it all, you, she was like ready to take on the world, and... Um, the story is basically about her realizing that she does not see she is not the perfect avatar she cannot do everything and i mean it's it's a very personal story like compared to avatar the last time bender um it's a very personal story and you know it just can't get, be compared because avatar the last airbender story i feel like it's basically of like an avatar who doesn't want to be an avatar um and eventually turns into the avatar. <laughs> I mean, it's it's really kind of like that, um, and it's explained in a really well way, in a really good way. I mean, um, and you know, it just, it just they, they can't, can't they just stories can't be compared. It's just weird. I, I don't get it, but it, okay, I guess you gotta compare them or something. I don't fucking know, but whatever. Um, so I don't want to keep talking about that because let's be honest, who the fuck wants to talk about that? I don't want to. Um, but I just wanted to address it because I just like to get my personal opinion out there. And I just don't really like like the way people compare the two shows. Um, but hey, whatever. People are gonna do what the fuck they want. I don't really I don't really care at the end of it all. Um, let them enjoy what they like doing and what they like watching and whatever, <laughs> you know. But yeah, I mean. If, so yeah, again, if you haven't watched Avatar The Last Airbender, or like The Legend of Korra even, uh, I definitely recommend those shows because they're fucking brilliant. I mean, like the creators of the like the series are two masterminds mashed together with a great team uh, supporting them. Um, you know, I, I can't wait to see what the two brilliant minds are going to do. Um, by the way, the, the creators of the shows are called... Uh, Brian Konitsko and Michael Dante DiMartino, in case you're wondering. Um, I mean, they, like, they, they're kind of, they're just my heroes, you know? I mean, it's kind of weird, like, saying it, but it's true. I mean, like, they, they, those guys are fucking amazing. I mean, they um, managed to come up with this world and this story, like, amazingly well. Um, and they've been working their ass off to make sure this, this, uh, whole like thing is just complete completely the way they wanted it to be you know and even like with Nickelodeon like trying to not make the thing successful I mean Legend of Korra was kind of a disaster in terms of like viewer counts and stuff like that because Nickelodeon fucked it up let's be honest but um, even with like Nickelodeon, like, no, ugh, Nickelodeon working against them they still managed to deliver something that was brilliant and the best, like, the best show on, the like, the channel and stuff like that, I mean, fuck, man, those two fucking brilliant assholes, <laughs> no, they're not assholes, but those brilliant people, I, I can't believe how well they've done it, like, it's fucking amazing, um, but yeah, um, 
so yeah, again, if you if you haven't watched the series, just go watch them. Like, give it a shot. I mean, I mean, um, just to kind of give you the idea. So, Avatar: The Last Airbender, like, I feel like that's pretty much a show for really like the family. You know, there's it kind of it's kind of kiddish at the like some every once in a while, um, and. Legend of Korra is very adult compared to Avatar: The Last Airbender, so just make sure if you if you actually watch it, make sure you keep an eye on that. So anyway, that's all for this video, guys. Thank you for watching. Later.